Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the shared members. If we talk about the class, now here is the class. Class consists of various members. Now the first member we are having is called the data members. Data members is having their another name, which is called the attribute. Whenever we are going to declare some variables, just like we are declaring dim a as integer or shared b as integer. Now these all variable declaration is called the data member or the attributes. Now if we talk about the more members of the class, here we are having the member function or they called as the behavior. Whenever we create any type of procedure, just like sub anke, this is the name of procedure and ending with the end sum or the function. We know that procedure are returning nothing and functions are returning something. So if you are declaring any kind of procedure or function, they are called the member function. So with the combination of data members and the member function, we create the class and to access the class, we need the object. This object is also called the instance. Now here is one important thing. As we know that data members, data members, we have declared two categories. One is the dim a as integer. Whenever we declare the data members or the variables in the normal way, just like dim a as integer, dim a as double or maybe a as string. So they are called the instance variable, instance variable, which we declare normally. Then there is a second category which we are having the shared. We can see that there is a shared keyword used shared B as integer. If we are using like shared B as integer, shared B as double or shared B as string. So such variables which are shared are called the shared variable. Now we are discussing the difference between instance variable and the shared variable. Let us suppose that we have created two objects of the class. One is the obj1, this is the object 1 and another is the obj2, this is the object 2. I am giving you the comparison between the instance and the shared variable. Whenever we create the multiple object of the class, they may have the different values. Just like if I talk about the instance variable, here we are having the a. A is the instance variable. Now this A can have different values for different objects. Just like for the obj1, the value is let's say 10. For obj2, the A is having value 20. Here we can see that A is having different different values. Because if I am accessing from object 1, the value is 10. If I am accessing through object 2, the value is 20. The value is different, possible. If you are having the instance variable, it is possible. But if you talk about the shared variable, we can see that B is the shared variable. So here I'm mentioning the B. If the value of B is let's say 30, now this 30 values will be same through all the objects. So that is called the shared variables because it is shared with everybody. So value will be same. Either we are accessing through the object one or the object two, the value is 30 it is same so we can say that shared variables create only one copy for all objects of class or in the short we can say that the shared variable have the same value in all the objects so every object of the class will be having the same value for the shared variables now how to identify any variable is shared or the instance variable whenever we are having the shared keyword before that just like here in the program, we can see that the shared keyword is used. Now this shared keyword make to identify that this variable is the shared variable. So we only has to see the word which is shared. If this shared word is used before any method that is called the shared method. If shared keyword is used before the variable that is called shared variable. If this shared keyword used before the constructor, that is called the shared constructor. So this shared keyword is used before any constructor, method or the variable. 
Just like the normal methods are overloaded, similarly the shared methods can also be overloaded. So the methods which are having the shared keywords before that, which called as the shared method, they can also be overloaded. So if we talk about the shared members, the first thing we have noted that shared members have the same value with all the objects. The value cannot change. So only one copy will be having with the all objects. So all object of the class have same copy of the value. So same value is there. Second thing about the shared members is that shared members are having the keyword which is shared. So shared keyword will be used and whenever this shared keyword is used before any constructor that is called the shared constructor. If before the method that is called shared method and before the variable that is called the shared variable just like here we have used the shared keyword before the variable b so that is called the shared variable and shared methods can also be overloaded just like the regular method so that is about the shared members